All right, guys, we're going to talk about litigation financing. If you haven't heard of it, this is something you will want to know. It is definitely a business that's set to explode going forward. It used to not be so, um, I wouldn't say popular. You probably didn't hear about it, litigation financing, because uh, up until a certain time, um, not 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 recently, but um, up until a certain time, it was actually banned, right? So it wasn't even allowed. Uh, but litigation financing is definitely a business that's set to explode going forward. I mean, more and more, I'm guessing there's going to be more. Um, you know, the the world is growing. The it's getting more complex. I would let's just let's just say that there's going to be a little more lawsuits. There's more. All right. So, anyways, without speaking too much, uh, uh, Burford Burford, if I pronounce right, Burford Capital Limited. This stock exploded today, all right? It went up 48.2%, all right? And this company is, is involved in litigation financing. They're the biggest in litiga- company in litigation financing, biggest globally. They have uh, nearly $5 billion in assets under management that are being used uh, for uh, financing litigations. When you compare that with over 42 um, hedge funds primarily involved somehow on the side let's say with litigation financing in the u.s there's over 42 and if you combine all of them their asset and their assets on management it goes to roughly i think 30 no i'm sorry 12 12.5 13 billion dollars around there and just nearly five billion dollars comes from burford capital right so they are the best uh they are the biggest and today they had a big win for their client one of their clients won today in in the in in uh, the courts and so burford capital went from basically six bucks right it's from six dollars and eighty cents where it was today um all the way up to ten dollars and seventy cents as i speak right now that is a huge gain 48.2 percent gain today right but that's not all right because um you know you might say well mike it's already at ten dollars and seventy cents then what's the point you know it's already gone up too much and so on there is a point no and there is a point the point is one that litigation financing is going to explode going forward it's going to be an industry just like any other industry if you're looking at the ev industry or whatever it's one that you might want to focus why not let's diversify our portfolio the other one is for capital might be an opportunity if it does go down in the near term let's say within the next month and a half uh, around there um, if the fed does raise rate hikes again i understand that that may not have anything to do with board for capital but the markets would go down and maybe we'll have a chance to get back into this uh to get into the stock at a lower price right so 1070 but this the second part is the stunning stunning news that is that board for capital um is going to receive something big all right from this news that came out with their client winning and we'll, we'll talk about that case real quick and also how that is going to come over to the shareholders very soon now before i continue do not forget to check out my links in the comment section below if you want to join my patreon um you know which then through patreon you go to discord because i mean just in the past two days for example one example was TIGR in pre-market on uh, on the 30th. I'm sorry, on the 29th, on the 29th of March. During pre-market, it was trading around $3.10. I left a message in the Discord and Patreon, and I said, uh, if it goes to three around there, it would be a buy for a quick trade. And it did, and uh, went all the way to $3.24 in pre-market. I ended up selling it at $3.16. Um, so that was good. Another one was uh, yesterday, take a symbol FYBR. Uh, I told everyone at $21.71, $21.71 cents that it's a buy. Today sold it at $22.58, personally speaking for me. If you wanted to hold it longer, you can. Uh, the other one was in the after hours yesterday, BlackBerry, as soon as the earnings came out, because I have a channel in my Discord that gives you instantly the split second any news comes out. And I happened to be looking at that channel that moment, you know, reading through the news, and boom, right away came the BB news about their earnings. And uh, the stock was, I jumped into the, the broker right away in the broker that the news weren't even out in the broker just so you can imagine you get the news first on my discord uh and uh, they had nothing in the news about the earnings that moment and the moment and bb was at 387 i wrote right away that i'm going to get in a 387 sold it at four bucks perfect within five minutes um and today take a symbol a u l t pre-market i told them about um that at 10 cents it would be a buy for a quick up to 13 14 15 cents max and nothing more than that and it did that ju- and it did just that 
uh, we were able to grab some of us a 30% gain, I got a 30% gain, another person got 38% gain, and so on. So perfect, perfect, perfect. If you want to join my Discord, now it's not always about day trades, all right? So we all don't, you know, if you think it's only about day trades, no. Uh, my Discord is for day trades, for swing trades, long term. We do everything. We look for opportunities everywhere. And I also give my picks also. So uh, with that being said, let's go to Burford Capital Limited. BUR is the ticket symbol. It's at $10.70. And there is the chart. And that's what it's doing right now. And it's pretty pretty awesome so Burford capital stock surges after client wins liability ruling against argentina now litigation financing basically means that Burford capital says to their clients that i'll pay for everything right i'll, I'll handle all the fees everything on the whole court case i'll pay for everything all i want is that if we win i get something right that's the whole point exactly what happened was that peterson group bought shares of argentine government controlled energy company ypf in an initial public offering at the time peterson was promised that it would be repaid fair value if the energy company was renationalized when argentina took a controlling stake in ypf the share value uh, the share value fell sharply causing peterson the largest minority shareholder to become insolvent now with burford capital their client peterson group winning burford capital stands to get about one billion dollars in revenue just from this case and that's the biggest part about all of this and this is why the stock went from six bucks basically 680 wherever it was to now trading at 11 bucks actually it was 1070 when i said earlier in this video now it's at 11. and the thing that people are going to win from this well this is the financial picture of uh, the revenue part of uh, burford capital uh, i know it doesn't look pretty but it's from now going forward it's going to look much more prettier uh they also have a 13 cent annual dividend the uh analysts are giving it a buy and so on but one thing i want to mention is with that one billion dollars nearly one billion dollars in revenue that they're going to receive from this case and basically from this case, Burford Capital has said that their investors are going to receive or could receive, uh, I should say could is the, is the most uh, proper word for now uh, because there's no official announcement, that they could receive a sizable special dividend, all right? And the company already gives the 13 cent dividend, but they could receive a sizable special uh, dividend. The analysts are very bullish on the next 12 months for, for this stock, TBUR is the ticket symbol, they give it a low of $13.54, an average of $15.97 and a high of $17.90. People are not uh, very aware of it, but it's gonna grow big. And, uh, and I think that the best player right now to get into is the one who is actually has uh, the lead in front of everybody else, and that's Burford Capital. So what do we do? BUR is the ticket center. Do we just jump in right now? Because it says 1070 here, but it's actually 11 bucks right now. For me personally speaking, I want to add this company to my portfolio for the long term. Just let it go. I have various portfolios one is for the weeble portfolio on weeble which is just for quick trades or uh, swing trades um, and then i have a portfolio on fidelity and and that portfolio for me is the one that i um, cherish the most i like the most i love it i have more fun uh, looking at that and getting involved with that that portfolio because long-term investment is actually the greatest type of investment sure swing trades are awesome they sound cool they're great but there's nothing better than a long-term portfolio. In the long-term portfolio, I have a, a larger, uh, uh, I have big diversification. I have stocks from all the sectors, uh, basically, but not the sector of litigation finance. I don't have anything from that. And that's a sector that I need to put in my portfolio. I need to have something from the litigation finance sector. And I think the Burford Capital is perfect. Now, I would love it if it fell, but it probably won't happen. It's probably headed for 12 bucks, let's say. Um, so I have a choice to make whether I should buy it now or not. Um, and I think the company is great. Um, uh, with this case that they, with with this case that they are uh, that their client won, uh, it's not over yet. But uh, once it's all over with, the, the, just Burford Capital themselves is going to get up to a billion bucks. The special dividend, I can't wait to find out what it's going to be. It's, it sounds like it's going to be really good one. Um, and so that's that. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that this is a sector that you would like to also add to your portfolio. And uh, if the video was uh, helpful and if it introduced you to something you didn't know before, please consider um, hitting the subscribe button for my YouTube channel and hit the like button. And I wish you all the best. Take care. Are you looking for a Discord platform that offers a first-class trading community? That's what you can expect when you join Bull Market Watch. Trading can be challenging for some people. 
but we're here to simplify the process for you. We have a very powerful track record. Our Discord deals with day trades, swing trades, and long-term trades. Hundreds of traders operate through our Discord where we come up with stocks to trade for profits on the NASDAQ and in YSE. With a low monthly subscription of $9.90, you will have full access to our Discord where you can interact with other traders and get all the latest news when it comes to trading as well. It's a community that is extremely supportive of one another and always willing to help each other out. Become a member of Bull Market Watch today and be on your way to a better financial situation.